this video, you will learn how to choose keywords and use advanced search techniques to find articles in library databases. Let's use the database Academic Search Complete to find articles. This database includes articles from many different subject areas. You can search just like you did with the library search bar. However, databases allow us to use more advanced search techniques. Click the name of the database to see more information about it and click connect to open the database. If you are off campus, this is when you'll be prompted to enter your SFU computing ID. Welcome to Academic Search Complete. Let's try a search on climate change again. We definitely get fewer results than with library search, but it's still an awful lot. Let's try some advanced search techniques. First, let's add quotation marks around our search terms. This lets the database know to search for these two words together as a phrase, rather than finding each word individually within the articles. You can see that reduces our number of results a little bit. There is another popular term used for this topic, global warming. We want to make sure that articles that use this alternative term are also included in our results. If we add or global warming to our search, we can ensure that the database will look for both phrases. As you can see, that really increases the number of results. Take a look at your search results. Our search terms occur in many places, including the subject headings. Subject headings can give you new ideas for search terms. You can even search only subject headings to be sure that the articles are really about your topic. Based on the number of results, we should note that this is a very broad topic. We need to add some more search terms to narrow our topic. Let's add a what and a where to our search to narrow it. Perhaps what we want to know about climate change is its impact on cities and in particular, cities in North America. I am going to use the asterisk or star symbol at the end of Canada so that the database will notice search for variations of this word, including Canadian. You might recall from a previous video that this advanced search technique is called truncation. I have also used the or again to make sure that we are including different ways to say city. That's still a lot of results to look through. We might want to narrow to articles that include climate change or global warming as a subject heading. And is connecting all of these different search fields so our search only finds articles that include a word or phrase from every row. This narrows our results, even though we are still using some ORs to expand parts of it. When we run this search, we see our number of results drop dramatically. Finally, we still need to limit our search to scholarly articles by checking the peer-reviewed box. We can also narrow the publication date to ensure that we are finding current information. Now that's a more manageable number of results. We're ready to get started with our research. 